<laughs> Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Elements in Shadow with What Team Comp, where we're having the usual shenanigans of, uh, <laughs> oh, don't, don't you giggle at that, I'm not even started yet. <laughs> I was trying to hold back the No, but I have. <laughs> We've barely started Paris. I'm We've only just begun. <laughs> oh, no. Amazing. Ooh. That being yeah. said, with uh, all the silly shenaniganry that we are about to partake in, who, who's not who's not uh, up to speed on where we were at? You, you guys all remember? Yeah, I'll, I'll do a quick recap just to, so we can uh, make sure everyone's uh, you know again up to speed. Yeah, my nose is running. <laughs> oh oh no. no! We'll catch it. I just coughed up blood. Not totally sure. What? What? You okay? Oh, I've been coughing multiple times every minute all day, man. My oh, life is hell right now. I but I'm living. Make it? Do you know I'm, he said he's living, so I believe I'm him. literally just vibing, Taru. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Thank I, God for push to talk. <laughs> I, I believe it. Well, I, uh, I, 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 I think I remember pretty well, but go ahead with this summary, Don. So you guys had been making your way through a, a more northern path of uh, the fields in order to try and get your way towards Forfil, in order to get yourselves to a temple that apparently moves occasionally, which has some answers that might help with uh, finding a way to remove the uh, three years that is missing from everyone's memory. Along the way, you basically... Oh, gosh, what is that What is that meme? Because that's the only way I'm seeing this now, is you guys basically deja vu'd past the hill giant, just like, nope, we're just going to slide, just, we're not, we're going to deal with this. <laughs> I'm out. Yeah, yeah just, we didn't either. slid past and just like, la da da no, 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 no. Slide lift. Basically. <laughs> and uh, you managed to very... Very handily, just slide right around him, which I I got not gonna lie, I was impressed by. <laughs> <laughs> really? Oh to be yeah. Fair, it didn't help that one of them also beamed his friend in the back of. The <laughs> that that was amazing, but oh, also yeah, right. um, Pharaoh's basically jumping, catching the thing, and just letting it just fall down, which is like, <laughs> yeah, that 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 was also pretty impressive. <laughs> but that being said, you guys continued and eventually saw, uh, well, among other things, an owl bear, children, and a, a village worth of people just milling about in the fields and were able to meet a few of them and you know, got to see just how much of a sister Ellie is, you know, screaming, yelling, and making her sister be like, ah, I've stood five more minutes. <laughs> Wait, Ellie? <laughs> Fucking catapulted something at me. I don't remember what the fuck it was. It was a bucket. I think. Oh, okay. Who it was, it was most likely a bucket. We just had a bucket lying around. It's a village. They're they're you doing things cows? like getting water or getting. I mean, you oh, know, okay. Eh, you ha you have goats. Me. They're a little bit easier to move around than cows because cows are kind of stupid. <laughs> cows are smart. They're just stubborn. They're big old dumb babies. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Don't be dissing on cows now, Guru. Right. Oh, I'm not dissing on cows. I'm not dissing on cows for the things that they're good at. I'm dissing on cows for the things that they're not good at. If anyone who anyone who knows anything about any campaign should know that if you have a cow when you're all level one, cows are cows are the most dangerous thing you can ever run across. Moo, bang. Bitch, level three. I heard a cows at level three is one of the most dangerous encounters. Oh my God. Is there fucking help? I want this now. Tar! <laughs> I've built a cow ranger. I just haven't got the chance to use it. Cow ranger? So, a cowboy. Cow. Yes. No. He rides a cow into battle. A cowboy rides a horse in a, bo a battle. There's a, a difference. A bitch ass does. A bitch ass cowboy does. A real cowboy grabs the cow. <laughs> 
there there's a lot of options. There's, there's plenty <laughs> of options. Like, we have too many options now. Anyway. Sorry, got it out of my mind. She's sitting here like, yeah. Uh, <laughs> then oh. finally you met with Ellie's father who if I remember right Ellie char- one of you two charged the other both and you both oh yes that's right it was, you both did charge and it uh, was contested raging athletics <laughs> oh yeah yeah you uh you won you, by you, two you, points you old bitch <laughs> yeah you you ran into a wall and uh well you you expected more, but uh, you just kind of bounced off him as he just kind of looked down. And you're just like, "Yeah, it's good to have you home." <laughs> also, bounce to the mother. Yes. Because I'm sorry, but mom gives healing. <laughs> mom gives healing. She does. She she gives kisses on your forehead and tells you that you're doing okay. And you also saw that they um they brought home a uh, big old bit of buffalo that they're going to be having for dinner, which. Um, they had one that they brought in that was clearly his hunt, but as the uh, day is turning towards night, a few other parties come back with uh, maybe two or three more buffalo that they're going to be cooking and serving throughout the evening. Fuck, did they find all these buffalo? They were. Did, we pass- hmm? did, yeah. did we pass buffalo on our way here at all? Not yet, no. Uh, you were coming from out of the valley into it, so it might be that they're around somewhere else, but I mean, you can always ask. I mean, you've got a village of people around. Dude, it's cooking beef. It's, her brain is not. So, like, where did this come from? Her brain is like, I'm sorry, there's food, so move it's, the fuck it's, out of my way. Seasoned food? Is this seasoned food? Uh, <sighs> there's more than a few people who, as you're just like, yes, 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 you're licking your lips, like, reaching your hand forward, a few people who just, like, gently r- grab your wrist and pull it away. <laughs> like, it ain't ready yet, lass. Watch your hand move back, lass. Just slowly put your hand in your lap, just like licking your lips, just like, yeah, I want it. <laughs> I want it so much. <laughs> Meat! It, it, and it, it's, for everyone who is uh, obviously unable to smell it, it's beginning to uh, get a very well-cooked smell to the entire place. Because they're not, like, cooking it all, like, just one buffalo over a fire. No, they're cutting it into pieces, like taking the arms and the ribs, just taking just all over the place. So there's many fires being lit, cooking this, and it's the whole of the village is having this permeating cooked meat smell that is just wafting through as you guys are basically surrounded by various fires, people just chatting casually, talking as you know, you're scraping of like a, their forks against... Uh, cast iron cook pots as some of them are actually making like stews with it it's it's a, I think I can hear Tari drooling buffet yeah I think I hear Tari drooling <laughs> it does sound really uh, <laughs> some of them are like uh, they're cutting they're dicing them into like squares and basically making kebabs mm. and it's again it's, they're just they're just having a good old time. They, these people, they know how to, they know how to mess around with food, and they're just. Can, yes. Can I be helping? I'm definitely helping. Uh, yes. <laughs> you, if if you ask, they will ask. Like, you know, you have experience. It's, this is a different type of meat than you've been really used to, but you've worked you've worked with uh, different meats before. But one of the harder ones that I'd say just. We haven't discussed this out of character, but I'll say that you've you've actually worked with this. It's very difficult to work with to make sure that it's cooked properly. Is bear? Mm-hmm. And is there bear meat? No, it's not bear meat. It's buffalo meat. I'm saying that Taru's character has cooked bear meat. Okay. <laughs> and <laughs> must say I'm like, oh. hold on. The reason why I mentioned that is because when you mention that, all of the cooks say, "Okay, you can come help." <laughs> they, they they understand they understand the difficulty of cooking bear. They're just like, yeah, no. If you're able to do that, and your your village didn't throw you out, yeah, you can you can at the very least you know, help out when I you know we need to move things around and such. And you're able to essentially rub elbows with them, and it's it's fun. It's it's a village Great. of people that are just chatting. Like they, it's like within let's say about half an hour, 
they almost seem to forget that you're not actually from amongst them. They're just like, hey, yeah, yeah. And they're like, you know, calling out for you. Like, we, we need him. No, 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 no. We need him over here. No, no. And you see, like, it's they're right. fighting. They're, oh, my God. He's so glad. He's so happy right now. <laughs> it's not like actual fight. Like, no, we need him over here. No, oh, come on, come on. We just need him for like five minutes. You had him five minutes ago. Yeah, well, we know we need him five minutes now. And he's just like looking around just like, this is the best. <laughs> <laughs> he, he's definitely offering the services of spice pouch. <laughs> oh, yeah, spice well, pouch. Yeah, uh, at least ten dishes are going to get that. He's like, I, it's magical. It's got you know ten ten different spices we can use, and they're just like, you don't say. <laughs> I'm utterly <laughs> shocked that someone else doesn't have it as well. I'm gonna be real with you. Oh no, they don't have a spice pouch. You see one of them reach back and pull out a, it, it, but you know, um, okay. Essentially, he pulls out a jar. About about as big actually about as big as an alchemy jug per se. We and talking marmalade jar? Yeah. And he's like slaps his hand on it. We had to work on this thing for uh, half a year, but it does what that does just on a, a bigger scale. <laughs> the big chungus bag of spice. <laughs> it, it is essentially the big chungus bag of spice where they can essentially because it all of the spice will be. You know, gone by uh, the next morning, uh, whether it, they use it or not. But when they season things, the seasoning does stay in the meat. They don't know why. It's magic, and they're just like, you know what? We're getting good food. Why are we asking questions about magic? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Don't look a gift horse in the mouth. Just go with it. Yeah. But they get a lot of it. They like, put it into little... Um, pans and such to have hand out to the other campfires and it it is getting a glow to the entire place it's got a that smell that strong smell and people are starting to sit down and just kind of chatter about as the food is being eventually served and it's Ellie it's home you get me put in front of you and you're able to start stuff in your face <laughs> <laughs> I, I knew what you were waiting for. You get me put in front of you, you just shut you just shove it right in your gob. <laughs> this is the woman who will take a fork to an entire ham and attempt to eat it. A keyword attempt. You get you know, it, granted, this is not ham, this is buffalo and No, I'm saying she's oh, yeah. shoving it in her face. <laughs> they they've taken the time to uh, essentially they give you um it's it's like a form of cubed steak, which to be fair is still about the size of your uh, well, not your palm. I was about to say! Your maybe palm would mine. be... Your, uh, maybe a little bit bigger than your palm, Matt. I'd say maybe up to... Faros. The first or second knuckle. Faros got bigger than mine. No, no, I'm talking about <laughs> Madrino's. Not oh! Awasha's. Oh! Madrino's oh! hand. Like, Damn! Th there may be a good... Six to nine inches across, almost a foot across. Must sound like man got some big Wait, ass hands. I do, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I I knew what I was saying. I didn't say Alasha's hands. <laughs> I thought Paris said Ellie's hands. No, no, I said not Ellie's hands. I'm like Ellie got some big ass hands, so yeah, no. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But yeah, they're they're big and it's like. Mm. So, don't mind me. I'm just gonna fucking shove this in my face right the fuck now. Are we all, like, kind of gathered around a certain place? Yeah. Or? That's what I figured. You're okay. most likely uh, gathered around the one with the chief because Ellie. And because <laughs> as soon as he realized, you know, that you all were friends of Ellie, he basically invited you there. I eat. You were forced to sit here. <laughs> Hey, so you're, uh, you are allowed to move and sit wherever you want. He just invited you to sit here. He yeah, has no problem with that, yeah. yeah. <laughs> also, Don, I'm doing additions to the fucking NPC list. My bad. Oh, good. I forgot that I uh, wrote this on paper. <laughs> <Yes>. Nice. <laughs> I was tired last night, and I'm like, I gotta get some of this out. <laughs> It happens. Oh, your goodness. But yes, uh, everyone's kind of, they're chatting idly, uh, just enjoying themselves and uh, 
Azar, I, I will say that there is something that you, uh, as you're, you know, you're with the cooking adventure, just having a good time. You do overhear a few things that, like, a few people are like talking between each other. Um, uh, one of the conversations is essentially they're like, "Yeah, man, this is a good haul. Were you expecting this much?" I mean, no. I mean, apparently they had the herds were uh, like five times bigger than we were expecting this year. We weren't supposed to have a population growth that big, but I mean, we do what we do, and we we got to hunt a few extra actually. That's why we're basically having a celebration rather than just a a, few, a couple, you know, for us to you know take and do as we with just do it normally. Uh, uh, that's weird. That's what means we got more food, eh? Yeah, I, mean, I suppose. Just that's a lot. It was a lot of like you should have seen it. Like I thought there was just a black grass out there. No, it's just buffalo. <laughs> uh, no, you you laugh, you laugh, but you you go out there and you see it. You think that you're looking at all this black grass out there. All of a sudden, one of them snorts at you, and you're like, "Oh." I love that he a he sounds like a, like I cannot place his accent. B I love that his perception's high enough that he heard fucking like a very quiet snort of laugh. <laughs> to be fair, Azar is not the only one laughing. <laughs> okay, yeah, and you know Azar, he's mm -hmm. louder laugher than a small snicker laugher. Mm -hmm. <laughs> booming laugh mm. yeah um can we have that as a spell booming laugh yes I'm not going to say no <laughs> that totally sounds like it should be one anyway that's spell hideous laughter there we go <laughs> oh there you go there we go I was like that, that sounds way too familiar <laughs> it, I was making a booming blade joke no I, I, I knew what you both were getting at uh, I guess I would bring this up with the chief then, just trying to make small talk. Mm -hmm. How do you bring it up? Uh, uh, <laughs> sorry. No, you're fine. I, 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 I'm gonna have to like put commission work to the side for a second. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, Johnny, just stop coming after Taru for getting paid. <laughs> No, 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 we're 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 not coming after Taru for getting paid. We're just, you know. Okay, here, let me put it to you this way, Bars. I'm not coming at her for getting paid. We're coming at her for overworking herself. Uh, still not enough. <laughs> <laughs> um, I guess he'd just be like, "There's a lot of buffalo this time around." Yeah, there's a. Uh... Kind of like motions to the other cooks. I'm guessing you overheard some of the hunters uh, tell the cooks that, I'm guessing. He nods. Last we remember, herds were taking care of a decent amount, not too large for the area. It's uh, something that we have to undertake uh, when we come through these parts. It's strange for some people to hear, but uh, we have a few members of our our tribe who are of the uh, circles of druids. They reach out to different people, and since we travel a lot, we often are asked by them to do stuff like you know, ensure that there's not too much of a population of one animal in an area. Too many bison trying to go out and eat, you're eventually going to have them eat through all the grass and essentially kill themselves and everything around them off with starvation. That's where we come in. We come in, we help hold the numbers just a little bit, keep things in balance. This? Never seen this many pop up after one year. It was strange. Then again, yeah. I'm uh, of the mindset that I'm getting more and more details to say that there's something more going on than just... Perhaps not a dinner conversation, I apologize. It really is. You're in aren't Oh. <laughs> Ready to talk about Buffalo at the table? We can what? talk about Buffalo at the table all we want. <laughs> well, Buffalo's great. Compliments <laughs> to the chef, by the way. 
don't know why, but like I fucking did. I didn't do that in character, but now I just imagine Ellie looking at him and going, "What?" <laughs> <laughs> didn't you say last session that he's not very familiar with Buffalo? Um, I don't think I said he's not very familiar with Buffalo. I think okay. he had you roll a nature check because, like that, because oh, yeah. I because yeah. Ellie knew straight up out of out of the yeah. fucking gate what it was. Yes. But you have had to check. I think you so. I don't think I rolled well on that, so I, I feel like he didn't know what it was. Yeah. Yeah. No, he didn't. He fucking rolled a zero. Yeah. He doesn't know what the. Wait, that could be something else though. Oh what? Oh wait, no. It was right at the end of the session. Yeah. No. That. Yeah. No. Yeah. Mm -hmm. No. No. Dick. He rolled a natural one. Yeah. So he doesn't know anything about buffalo. <laughs> Oh. He's just, you know, a legitimate question. He's a big horn bitch. <laughs> That's all I know. <laughs> yep. Um. This poor man. <laughs> is, is that kind of practice familiar to me at all? Like, you know, maintaining nature kind of thing? Calling numbers? It's oh, yeah. something that you are aware of, uh, particularly with for you with boar. Uh, squee. Okay, so it's not a new concept to me. You make a squee sound and make it be like, yeah, yeah, no, it is it is something that you need to be aware of, because otherwise they will just ravage. I know how dangerous a yeah. fucking boar is. Oh, no, no, not, not, just, not just the danger of the boar. The danger of the boar to the environment. Yeah. So I know how dangerous a boar is. I don't take... <laughs> okay. Um... I guess, like, well, he's, I guess if he's considering that stuff not good for the table. No, he, he's saying, like, you know, talking about or, the buffalo and whatnot is fine. He was just going into a different subject. He's like, eh, it's probably for later. Okay, then if we're not going to get into that topic. Okay, he's going to be like, then what about some story? I'm sure you got some stories of. <laughs> oh my god! Oh. I got all these. What kind of like, story Ellie... are you looking for? Roll the name! Roll yeah, the I name! Got first, because it'd be yep. funny if he fucked up his daughter's name right in front. Of him. Yes, oh, good. God, damn it. <laughs> oh god! It's... Doesn't Butters have that role? He uh, does, but he I does. don't know. If I'm here. My roll twenty is just fucky wucky. Uh oh. Oh no. I will see if I can. Oh, oh there it is. Five. There is. Oh, you what don't! is it? A five? Yeah, that's. Okay. Yes! <laughs> yeah, he's gonna be like, of little Avery? <laughs> I was Growing up. Close. <laughs> <laughs> he, he slowly raises his finger and like points towards Ellie, like, Ellie? <laughs> what? Uh, Ellie. That's, that's why she just muttered, that wasn't even close. <laughs> She looks slightly <laughs> insulted. <laughs> She's like, yeah, Ellie. <laughs> oh, well, like he, did, he didn't say it wrong. Or wasn't Avery. It. <laughs> oh my god. I love this. <laughs> this unrun. This is gonna be an on-running joke forever. <laughs> oh boy, is it? <laughs> right. And he's like, yeah, Ellie. Well, you know, of little Ellie when she's growing up. Right. You want to embarrass him? Shut up! <laughs> she starts to, like, swing her fork stuff. at him. <laughs> it, Azar's just, like, grinning, waiting for story at Chief. <laughs> so... I'm gonna turn you into lizard steak! <laughs> She's like, it's like aiming her fork at him, pouting! <laughs> There was the time when she almost kidnapped a displacer beast cub. Do I even know what that is? Roll a, a nature quest. check. Oh boy! Oh boy! No, this is when he knows. This is it. Uh, <laughs> I'll see. That's not awful. You've heard of it, but like in like vague story that you're just like it was like in the back of your head and your mind is just like I, I heard the name but I don't remember the description I didn't okay. try to kidnap the baby I was trying to find the mother 
the mother would obviously have thought otherwise, but yes, you, she was being a good child. Kind of slowly looks at you, then looks back to you. She was an adult, really. And uh, how long ago was this? No, not that long. How long have you been gone? <laughs> I reserve my right to answer. A few months before she left. <laughs> He's already laughing about this. She had some help to ensure that she didn't just get um, their uh, tail pincers in her body. That would have been this pleasant. Yeah, card shield bell thing helps. Yeah. <laughs> There was also a time she'd consider taking on a... What was it? An entire camp full of bandits by herself? In my defense, I managed to. I oh, granted. Do you want to tell the story, or do you want me to tell it? Go ahead. I'm sure you'll add your own flair to it. She has a slowly <laughs> curling grin on his face. Flair. Uh-huh. Sure. Okay. Okay, so there was a camp of bandits that decided it was a really good idea to take my sister. Hi. And <laughs> And at first I was told to sit still. Again, looking back on it, fine, fair enough. Don't say anything. He waves you on, he's like, go on. <laughs> but I couldn't exactly think clearly to sit still when my sister is in danger. So I went to find the camp, found Abigail dead center in it, injured, saw Red, and according to recollection of my father, was swinging an uprooted tree in my hand to kill some of the bandits. Granted, it wasn't too big. It was a sapling. Like a grown sapling? Uh Big it's enough to essentially than... be a little bit bigger than a quarter staff. More of a great club, really. So small. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> small enough to be held in both of her hands without her teetering over on her ass. She uprooted in one pull. I was mildly proud of her. But how... And he's kind of like. He does the motion of like how tall, I guess. Which mm-hmm. is kind of a weird way to put it, but he's like. Uh- a great club is roughly the same size as LA, I believe. That's unwieldable. Is it? You is know it? It's, it's, it's smaller. Like it's smaller. Because I know it's great small. swords are the same length as the person. Generally, yeah. That, no. It, it, depend, it depends on the sword. But Like, because you have to have a great sword where the blade is, a, or excuse me, the sword is essentially the same size as the person. Legitimately. Or at least roughly, like a couple inches off, but... That, uh, still making it sound like Ellie was younger, or at least shorter. <laughs> she was definitely shorter than she is now. Yeah. Five, yeah, so. Six, maybe. Wait, five, six years old? She was no, definitely not that inches old. Inches shorter! Inches shorter! <laughs> just Wait, what age just tell the man how old you were. 15, 17, I think? It's been a long time. Average great sword is about 5.5 feet. Yeah, so about a head shorter than, yeah, then at least, maybe head and a half. Maybe two. But you got them all? I got them all at the cost of a lot of flesh. Her flesh, though, right? Oh, no! (laughs) (laughs) She she just, like, lifts the side of her shirt and there's, like, a fucking scar there. Mm, A little bit of both. Well, that's a good story. To be fair, she, as she said, she saw red, so she uh, was unaware of exactly how much she was getting assistance. Granted, we let her do most of the fighting. We did most of the rescuing. She was a great distraction. Pretty sure that I came back grinning like a maniac. You thought you had fun. You did have fun. (laughs) kind of did. 
It was still foolish and stupid to do. But it was fun. <laughs> I was trying to stretch my foot out and my fucking toe caught the wire and just went... <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty impressive for that age. Well, that's also how he figured out that I am... Like me. Yeah. I e, if we ever get arrested, I could break the wall for you. <laughs> uh, oh, like, Azar's kind of looking at you guys like he's not Oh, quite you've gotten to that me. point yet. Hold on. Uh, what you what she means is this. And he reaches down, he grabs a rock, and you see him just like hold it out in front of himself. And you see him just like staring at... A, just, he locks eyes with you as he holds it, and you just see him staring, <laughs> staring, and then you hear this... Yeah, that's such a poor example. Did that statement need an explanation? He got no. cuts himself off. Yeah. Azar didn't understand what we were, but the best way to describe it is we're particularly good at breaking down... Pod, what do you call these things? Structures, I guess, would be the proper word? We're really good at breaking down walls. We're good at breaking down walls. He slowly nods. Do I understand what they're trying to say? Is there something I'm supposed to roll for that? I don't actually understand. Does he what know what a siege say. weapon is? <laughs> oh, siege weapon stuff? Yeah, I don't Think about a trebuchet. Um, that are damaging. Uh, big structures. Does he know what a trebuchet is? Well, that's what Sam like. <laughs> Roll an intelligence check. They're the, most, they, they're the most common form of things used on the front line. Yeah, like, if you're used to war, though, that's just it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but considering his background, I don't know about that one. That's a two! You're not used uh, to yeah. engineering type stuff. That Trebuchet has more syllables in it than you've heard in most words. <laughs> it's like knowing of a gun nowadays. That's what I thought he would. Yeah, but he's from it's from where he's from as well. Yeah, it's background stuff. You got backstory shit we don't know about. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he don't know what that is. Um, I break stuff easier than most people. Okay, that's about sure. as good as we're going to get. A simple explanation. Explanation? Uh, wow, I fucked that all up. <laughs> is there like a, a special way you do it or a name? So uh, is it just breaking uh, stuff? <laughs> the common folk <laughs> who like been stuff. at the end of us when we've gone through during times of combat and such have referred to us as a band of juggernauts. Unstoppable forces. <laughs> yes, you are the juggernaut. Keep I finally got to say, God damn it. <laughs> you pass your head. I'm guessing that doesn't ring any bells for me. History! <laughs> Let him do it. <laughs> sure. I'm guessing it doesn't, Dawn. <laughs> He's letting me roll a history check. Yay! Okay. Oh my god! You, like, he says Juggernaut, and your mind just kind of goes like, I've heard of that tribe. It, you know, it's like one of those stories that is like, you know, you hear around the fire, and you're just like, ooh, we gotta be, we gotta be better than them. We gotta be cooler than them. They're the other team. They're the other team. <laughs> it, it, it's, it's like, hey, you know, we're, we, you know, my friends like the Cowboys, but I'm personally rooting for. The Cavaliers, yeah, you know, yeah. Those aren't two different teams from two different sports. Who cares? Green, <laughs> Green Bay Packers versus St. Louis. <laughs> or that Cardinals fucking... God, I forgot St. Louis's team. Just immediately. Okay, so that's the kind of context I understand. So is it more of a tribe? Is how I'm thinking of it? Yeah, they're, they're a village. They're they are a tribe. They're they're a trap. They're they're a tribe. Yes. Let me rephrase that. They are a tribe of people. Their size is that of a village. So they are a roving mm -hmm. tribe that is a essentially a wandering village of people. Uh, okay. Interesting. 
Uh. Well, I guess um, they don't have any. Maybe maybe I should ask this in DMs. Oh. Just just in case. Um. <laughs> Okay, interesting. So I guess I just Ellie's tribe is just known as the Juggernauts. What? <laughs> it's it's something that uh, people refer to them as or re refer to us as when referring to our presence in warfare. It's essentially a nickname when they're scared of us. Essentially. Oh. What do you guys have as a name normally? You just go with that, because some of us are lazy! <laughs> he, like, looks at you for a second. Looks back to... It's a good name! That's usually the reason why, yeah. I love that he doesn't deny it! <laughs> I mean, it's already a good name. It's a cool <laughs> spot. <laughs> See? He understands. My daughter thinking that I'm being lazy when we already have a badass name. Oh. You're lazy. But we don't mess with perfection. <laughs> Such thing as perfection. You only get better. But it's a perfect name. <laughs> <laughs> There's gonna be a back and forth and she knows it. <laughs> uh, he's just a big dummy. <laughs> Don't he's our him. big dummy. <laughs> <laughs> they both have a fucking intelligence of negative five. It's awful. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um. By the way, there's like two fucking blades at the very least. She's got a third in her hand. This bitch is packing it. I'm fucking hungry. <laughs> this is home cooking after not being home for a year. Uh, otherwise, I guess Azar would just be making random small talk and asking shit. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, I'm not as socially savvy as he is. So <laughs> I don't it's know. fine! I feel that! I feel that so bad! <laughs> Hold on. Excuse me. I better get a good answer from this Taru. Taru. Huh? Taru! Oh. Uh, uh... Don't pressure her like that! I get it, Brad! Let me go look. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Thank you. I just heard mom scream motherfucker, and I'm pretty uh... sure her Pokemon fainted. Oh Oops. no! <laughs> Then yes, yes you would. Uh, you were from the... I figured it might come up sooner, sooner than later, so... Yeah. <laughs> So I'm just trying to make sure I'm getting this right so that it's not butchering <laughs> your clan. You're good. I understand. Ah, that's what I was going to do. I apologize for the moment of silence. I'm just I'm not trying to remember this. I, I There was a specific one that I was just like, this is perfect, and then I lost it. <laughs> oh, it's okay. <laughs> I'm guessing. Mm -hmm. I'm guessing I'll show. 
you know, I always have a hard name, a hard time remembering his name. Actually, uh, fucking Pharos, 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 Pharos. It, it, <laughs> Butters has gotten so used to it being mispronounced that either way works. I just say it correctly. I let you people, know, uh, I let other people say it however they want. This is totally half the reason I made Azar out of this because I can't. I'm so not <laughs> this shit. No, don't feel bad. I am too. Shit. <laughs> Was I ask something in that? No, oh, I was just gonna, uh, uh I was, while well, it was quiet, I was like, I'm guessing they're just quietly eating there. <laughs> yes. Very awkwardly. <laughs> very quietly Please tell me Sarah is near him. Eating with her left hand and writing with her right hand. <laughs> and you will know she has no problem doing both at the same time. I can imagine not, considering. This bitch. <laughs> uh, yes, she is sitting near him. He's just kind of staring at his food as he's eating, not paying attention to much else. Oh, yeah, she's <laughs> eating her food as well. Quietly sticking to themselves. Hmm? Yeah, this is why I eat our social. Um. <laughs> Yeah, I'm trying to debate if you would. Okay, yeah, you know the way he um... would he? Okay, he 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 probably would. <laughs> Roll with save, see if he does. Uh, uh... I love how I can hear her violently on something. <laughs> Yeah, it's, it's something I'm trying to figure out if he would bring up on his own or not. Um, hmm. you, you said whiz save? Yeah, let's do that. Okay, he's doing it. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I guess in the middle of talking and stuff, since they mentioned the names and stuff, he's like, yeah, I remember hearing about you guys before. Where? Uh, I tried did some trading with you guys sometimes. What yeah. tribe are you? Uh, we we were called, <laughs> and he kind of grins like he's like it is really cool. Oh God! <laughs> he's like the Storm Walkers. <laughs> Wait, <am> I... <laughs> first of all, he's second of all. Have I heard of this? <laughs> Uh, roll a history check. YOLO! Yeah. It's something that was mentioned more amongst, like, uh, parts of the tribe that would go off to uh, see about trading with other tribes. So, it's something that you have you have heard about before. Apparently, they were known for being able to walk amongst storms and, in some ways, become part of it. They sounded really pretty cool, but you didn't know too much more beyond that. <laughs> it's just so cool! <laughs> and she, does she say this? Yes. Oh yeah, then he's like, right, isn't it? <laughs> Actually, Azart... This is a rude question, but I'm sorry. How old are you? I'm curious if we've traded with you in my lifetime wander a lot, so I don't know. Well, uh, I, I thought I was 26, but I think I'm 29 then. <laughs> You're only a little bit older than me. I hear rolls! <laughs> Sister's not paying attention. <laughs> I am. So, would, I, would I recognize his face thinking that? Um, no, I said that the other people of your tribe who would go off and trade were the ones going off to. Okay, okay. So you you never met each other. Must sound like Don, not again. 
no. I again. I that's why I made sure okay, that it was phrased it correctly. I I alliterated it this time. I illiter Don alliterated. Yes. Alliterate is a word. That's a, yes. No, I know, but it didn't alliterate mean you can't read. It, illiterate. That's illiterate. Okay. Which alliterate is to explain. It's close. It's close. <laughs> I'm so always confused. I'm like, oh, wait. <laughs> Yeah, that's actually very close. I never thought about how close those words were. <laughs> <laughs> Why would they do that? Anyway. <laughs> because it's English, Sharu. Yeah. Why? <laughs> okay, Vee. She hasn't stopped. Mm -hmm. Someone's gonna need to take this away from her, by the way. Okay, so she's just eating. plate. <laughs> yeah. I said I had multiple. <laughs> so someone's gonna either have to limit me or... Let me eat myself into a food come on with you. <laughs> you're, you're probably going to end up passing out later then, aren't you? <laughs> yeah, you I mean, to be fair, does, doesn't she just fucking pass out anyway when it's time for bed? I mean, she will eventually, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, you're you're basically just like, yeah, I just... I, I want... I want this food, and... This is, again... A year of no home cooking after having nothing but it. She's yeah. been in withdrawal. <laughs> yeah. He's oh. definitely eating his fair share. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I guess he's just gonna be small talking for however long. Yeah. Ow! I just sat on my book. Shut up, Don. <laughs> Until it gets dark. I thought it was already dark. Uh, no, it is dark right now. It's nighttime. Okay. Is it, so everyone's still kind of partying and shit. It, less partying and more just family dinner. That seems to be going on for like over an hour because there's <laughs> so much food in preparation as well as making sure that it's uh, dried into jerky in areas to make sure that they're not you know losing food okay um so a, little I guess clean up. a little later once I guess it quiets down a little bit more mm. Azar will probably be playing music and stuff for everyone okay yeah, when you just, like pull out your instrument, like predominantly children just shoop seem to flock to you. <laughs> right in. in that case. <laughs> oh no! If it's children, I guess he's gonna be. Um, he's gonna ask something like, "Have you guys heard the story of blah blah blah?" <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yeah. Have you heard the story of Dark Magus the Wise? <laughs> Dark Magus no! the Wise. What, does Faros ask this? No. No, that was a Star <laughs> that was, that, Wars that, that's pre-war. Yeah. Pre <laughs> Ironically, I had been looking at memes of that just before the game started. Then, uh, yeah. Uncle Azar has activated. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, he's gonna start telling a story, and then it's gonna be one of those things where he'll play music in between as well, like telling a story through music, you know, that kind of thing. Yeah. Yeah, kids he's gonna do that. Thing. Yeah, the kids are just <laughs> the thing. watching, just... Ooh. They, they, they yeah. are intrigued. Uh, he's being very enthusiastic about it, obviously. Of course. <laughs> you, got, you got it. Of course. Yeah. Definitely overacting that shit. He's having fun. The, the overacting just sells it more to these kids. They're they're just like, <laughs> they're no, <right>. yes, <gasps> <gasps> wonderful. Oh, I could even cool. Uh, he will. Can I? Can he totally do stuff like dancing lights and stuff to just infer that? If, you, if you do that, you're going to have all the kids essentially having stars in their eyes. It's. <laughs> It's just these these kids are just they're enraptured. Some of the adults like look over and they're like, "Oh, that's a neat trick." Oh yeah. And there's some of them who are actually like, you know, basically putting their station, you know, close enough that they can listen in a little bit while they're still working. And there's a few who actually do like sit down with the kids, just 
casually, just like, man, I, I haven't heard this story in a while. Is that how you told the story? Huh? Oh, there's lights now! <laughs> this is great. You probably do some shit like saying each of the lights are like different monsters and the dude's fighting or some shit like that. Oh my god. Color Turns them off them. when he defeats them. <laughs> Fucking you glorious. Know. Yeah, you know how it'd be. He's I extra. Know how it'd be. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, he's having a good old time over there. I can tell. Uh. Pharos, uh, Sarah t- and, uh, is going to speak with you a little bit more, just you know, <laughs> very, very casually, but she does occupy a little more of your time. There is one member of your party that will kind of get tapped on the shoulder and gestured away. What? Who? Wait. Alasha. <gasps> Wait, what? <laughs> Why the heck do you want to talk to me? (laughs) Uh, The chief just very slowly, kind of casually, just kind of like nods his head away as everyone's like leaving and such. And you're like, yeah, well, I guess I'm going to. He just kind of taps you on the shoulder and just like, can you come here? Just stands up and just kind of walks off. More to like more of a private area where you can just kind of stand, just kind of watch you, seeing if you'll follow or not. Yeah, sure, why not? (laughs) So you come over and he. So he kind of sits himself down, uh, pulls out a, a thick blanket, offers you uh, one as well. It's starting to get a little bit colder now that the sun's going down, but not by much. Yeah, I'll take a blanket. It's when you throw it on your shoulders, it's just like, woof, warm. It's like a quilt. <laughs> Essentially, One of the yeah. things where it's like when you're cold and you pull it on, you just kind of go, oh. Yeah, <laughs> it's one of those. <laughs> And he just kind of pulls out a few items, just kind of like messing with them in his hands. Seems to be thinking for a moment. And slowly just kind of leans back and looks at you. You're a... I'm not sure how else to say it except to ask if you are a, a, a smart person. I have been told I have a certain amount of intelligence, yes? Good. Good. And you've been paying attention to the goings-on in and out of the cities, yes? I do my best to keep abreast of as much news as possible. And you are aware that there is a... a timing issue, then? Yes. Yes, I am. Although I am interested how you came about this knowledge. It is... very... very well kept. It's the worst kept secret I've ever seen. Not from what I've seen, at least. Well, that's because big city folk have so much going on, they have their heads up their own ass that they can't see out and actually experience the world and realize that something's not adding up. That's right, Dad, it's Salter. <laughs> Man's not wrong. <laughs> you right. Right. And to be fair, he has complimented her by saying, You're a smart person, right? <laughs> I mean, he one. literally let off with, So you know about this thing that most people don't know, right? You're a smart one. You're not like all those other dumb city folk. I'm not like <laughs> other city folk. <laughs> I'm not like the other girls. <laughs> oh, no. That's exactly what this is. Anyway. Anyways. Anyway. Uh, he just kind of stares at you for a moment, and he reaches uh, into his cloak, and he pulls out this little this little totem-looking thing. Just kind of turns it over his hand, and he kind of sets it down in between you. Do you know, obviously, I presume you wouldn't, but on the off chance you do, do you know what this is? What we got, girl? It looks like a totem. What kind it of is, totem? Uh, it's about maybe... An inch and a half thick mm. has um, 
odd, oddly different markings um, that on the side of them, if you if you want to pick it up. Yeah, I'll, I'll pick it up. Uh, there are markings that kind of run along the side of it that seem to be indicating uh, numbers. Going from one, two, three, sequentially. How high do they go? Uh, this one goes up to 18. 18? Mm -hmm. Sounds about right. I, out of character, think I know what this is. Mm -hmm. What would I roll in character to know? Intelligence check. Okay. What was the uh, thought that you had? I thought that it was a lunar calendar. Is that what you ask him if it is? I would uh, in character ask if that's what it is, yeah. He smiles and shakes his head. Uh, no, we, we have other things for this. Uh, what you hold in your hands is uh, what our tribe refers to as uh, a maturing totem. It's a totem that parents will mark off each year our child grows up until they are 18. At which point we keep it to show that they have surpassed the ages of showing that they are able to stand on their own and to take care of themselves. That one is Ellie's. This must be a very precious object for you. It is, yes. And it is one that every child has one made. And we have many children, if you haven't noticed. Kind of motion is where Azar is like putting up his hands and like <laughs> shaking them to like make the kids go ooh like lean back like oh as like some of the lights go like, like, like lightsaber noises just like <laughs> against each other oh and then one God. of them just fades out as the other one like jiggles out they're like yay that's adorable <laughs> he, he smiles at that and then motions back to uh Alasha brain you both chose E names, okay? <laughs> uh, he motions back to Alasha. You see the children. It's hard not to see them when they're as bright as they are. How city folk are not able to figure this out as fast as we did, I do not know. We simply had to look at these points to the little totem that you have. And realize that one, our memory says that they were three years younger than the totem indicates, and we do not mark off a year unless it has occurred. And two, there were children who were born that the <laughs> highest of them were three years marked, but no one could bring up and say specifically when they remember them being born. Needless to say, we've had our suspicions. The numbers literally do not add up, yes. Yes. People... We've, we seem to have accepted that children were born, but... The fact that some go from us being traveling through mountains and such as that, and then looking at our path and realizing that we are off course. 
this is pertinent, I promise. This path that we are on, Ellie knew to come to it, I would presume. Or did you just stumble across us by happenstance? She knew that we were in the general area where your tribe is known to pass through. She was not aware if you were currently located anywhere near here, but it was a good chance that we would run into you. He nods slowly, and then it's, it's it's a very slow nod. Like he's like taking what you're saying and just being like, "Yeah, that makes sense." Holds up a finger and he kind of leans back and points uh, towards the north. If we had been following our normal path, from what our memory tells us, our path should have been projected to have gone around the mountains. Instead, we went skirting by the thick brush forest and have made our way here. A path more projected for time gone by, not where we were expected to go. We've had our maps marked to show where we've gone. And this is two things that show that we are missing some vital piece of information. We've accepted it. We move with it. Have you figured out anything that is involved or causing this. I do not expect you to have much. I understand that an event that could cause something like this would likely be something that we may never know fully what happened, but we might know something, perhaps. Out of character, give me a minute to go back into my notes. <laughs> As Elasha literally pulls out her notebook and starts pouring through it. <laughs> no, he, he sees you do that, he just kind of leans back into the warmth of the blanket and lets you, you know, do what you're doing. He doesn't seem to need it, he just like has it on basically to bulk up his size to show his like, leadership status. <laughs> No, the uh, the silence is because Matt is looking at his <laughs> notes. Um, your father okay. is being quiet and patient. I muted myself so I could munch on some food. <laughs> I didn't want to have chewing noises getting all up in your ears. Uh, you know, that ASMR just munchy crunch. No! <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, right now we're just waiting on Matt to get his notes pulled up so we can remember Ooh. what he knows about or what she knows about 
the events here and whatnot. <sighs> my, my fucking... My friend Caleb posts on my Facebook, and it's like a fucking screenshot that says, Okay, it's time. Show me what you look like at the beginning of the decade versus the end. And he did just this. And he said, Got married, had Lakin and Elliot, went through four jobs, started a band, and now my hair is running away. <laughs> <laughs> That's a whole lot. Can I even uh, find a picture of me from them? Mm-hmm. Okay, so Lasha finally finds the spot that she's looking for in her notebook. Mm -hmm. She kind of shrugs because he's right. It it, it isn't all that much. (laughs) (laughs) Oh my god. We know that it was a very powerful magical effect that was cast over much larger distance than any sort of of sorcery or wizardry or warlock spell casting the any have ever seen before we know that there is a chance a very very slim chance that a person can regain their memories but there is a great risk involved in it If the process by which you can restore your memories fails, you become trapped in a time loop, remembering a specific day over and over and over again. And you can't be brought out except by attempting to restore your memories again. I bet he, he he rubs his chin slowly. No, I was rolling. Don? No, no, I'm thinking. I'm thinking what he's oh, saying. Oh, okay. He, he's trying <laughs> exactly. to think how to phrase this. Out. No, you cut no, no. out. You like stop. So we were like, did he cut out? Oh no, shit. No, no, no. He, he's he's trying to think about what he's saying. That's not me cutting out. Okay. You did you find this out through personal experience or through someone else's experience? Yes and no. When I say personal, I don't mean you. I know. Our friend Pharos was also researching into this strange time event and in fact was much further along than the rest of us and brought us up to speed. Out of character, uh, Ellie? Did you ever explain to your dad about Kark? Because, uh... No, I haven't! No, he is not. She has attempted yeah, no, to no. pull him away, but... Yeah, you you see, like, as you're, like, tr- making these noises, you look at him, and he just has, like, this sad look on his face as he's just nodding. There is a reason why Kark is not here. From what you've described, can guess as much. But 
we are on a quest from Pharos's elders to find a roving temple that hopefully has a more reliable way to restore one's memories. Thank you. That puts some perspective into what all is going on here. I would warn you, though, that the day the path there will be dangerous. One of the issues that we've had walking through here has been that this place has been known for its penchant for elementals. And normally Normally it's air elementals. They stay more towards the skies, off the ground, such as that. But we've had others that have shown up. One of our smiths actually has taken the heart of an earth elemental to make a hammer. The dangerous thing about those is that you think you're safe, and then you know that Earth Elementals don't exactly displace the ground when they move. So they just sort of come out of the ground and swing at you. Yes, I have heard of such things. I've experienced such things. The only thing that's kept my feet from getting knocked off was it trying to pop out of the ground and me flying into a rage to throw it away as far as I could to get it from my fellow men. Well, fellow villagers, fellow tribes members. You city people have so many names for things. <laughs> trying to find the right one to use is like trying to stick your hand in a hornet's nest expecting to get only honey and not bees. I'm trying to figure out why this... <laughs> Out of character, if you stick your hand into a hornet's nest and you expect bees, I think you're already on the wrong path. Uh, again, I know. I know out of character. I just yeah, imagine I'm like... Staring at him like. Do, are you what? saying that in character or out of character? No, because she's. Mm -hmm. This is a fucking She's sheep. smart she enough to know said. better than that. Please, God, tell me that she's just doing the blinking gift to him, though. <laughs> uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> she doesn't have Coward. much of a poker face, but she has some of a poker face. <laughs> I'm seeing your dong roll fucking die to see if it gets <sighs> You understand what I mean. <laughs> 
I do. I'm going to need to speak to Ellie, aren't I? It's been so busy since we got here, we haven't had a chance to really talk. I can tell she's been trying to speak to you, but she hasn't been able to find the right time. find a way. We will find a way. Thank you again for speaking with me. Of course. I am always happy to talk. Do my best to remember that. Thank you. He just continues to sit there for a little bit. Yeah, I'll chill. eventually uh, try to motion for Ellie to come over and sit with him. If he succeeds, I will give them some time. Mm -hmm. Ellie, eating? are you still eating? No, she's been wandering around at this point. Just kind of making small talk with like people she knows. The moment she sees it, though, you see her glance between him and Alasha, point to herself, and then there's a slight expression of, am I in trouble? <laughs> <laughs> but she'll walk up to them. Whatever Jesse said I did, I didn't do it. I should hope you didn't do it. Am I in trouble? That depends. Do you want to be in trouble? No! Good. Then sit down. It's even more fear now! <laughs> no fears. Father, sit down. One fear. No, 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 no. Mad, no, 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 no. You don't understand. One, like, no fear. Mother or father, sit. Two fears. <laughs> <laughs> She'll sit down. Yeah. So you are... Oh, I'm gone, by the way. 
Yeah, you just use sneak. I'm, I'm gone. By the way. I'm out. <laughs> I'm not gonna be here for this. Fucking lost it. All right, I'm gonna head out. <laughs> so you're on a quest. Oh, yes. Should I get concerned with where you're going with this? It's good to know that you are. Doing what you can. I would not. I didn't never say that you wouldn't. Just seeing it makes me happy. I'll. Why do I get the most horrible feeling? You're about to drop something horrible on my head. anything on your head if I have the option. Metaphorically. Metaphorically. If you want, I can hit you upside the head and we can leave it at that. How about no? <laughs> I didn't think so. I'm able to piece things together believe it or not he looks at him she looks at him wait did I cut off son of a bitch cut off yeah, yeah <laughs> I said, said she looks she looks at him confused like I, what places a hand on your shoulder Oh, that's who we're talking about. <laughs> I mean, there's no real... <clears throat> there's no worry for it. You are on your way. Therefore, you will succeed. You're a wall cleaver. We tend to have a way of pushing through obstacles others find impossible. Most of those obstacles are physical. And if they're not, why can't we do more? Because I'm not magic! You may not be magic, but there will come a time when people will try and force you in ways that you wish not to go. And you will say, no. And then you'll shove them off a cliff. <laughs> Are you speaking from past experience? Mm, beautiful woman. Terrible, terrible woman. Tried to um, uh, make me part of a uh, some, some group of stuff she was selling. Uh, statues of people. So my fingers starting to turn to stone, so I just got angry and beat her off a cliff. <laughs> That's one way. I think I told you that story before. Oh, I don't no, remember. I, uh, that's right. I I refer to it as the um, the snake witch. She was very rude. Kept Do I have any? At me. You, Do I have any? When, when he, when he says snake witch, you're like, I vaguely remember that from you telling me as a child, but also, you know, it's one of those things that mom told you not to tell me anymore because it was a scary story. <laughs> Dad, I'm trying to sleep. <laughs> so did I ever tell you about the time I knocked a snake witch off a mountain? <laughs> <laughs> I 
I'm gonna have to ask Alasha now if she knows what a quote-unquote snake witch is. <laughs> oh god. She just covers her face for a moment, takes a really deep breath. I gotta get him back. <laughs> I will get him back. It's... <laughs> it's not... I'm used to breaking things. And this is not something I can break as easily. And it's frustrating and confusing and distressing and... And your skills will be needed. <clears throat> Whenever people are trying to fix things, there's inevitably something that needs to be broken before things can be fixed. At least, that's my experience. She's starting to cry. <laughs> he pulls her into a hug. Wraps her in the, the, big, the big quilt. <laughs> Don't know what I'm doing. I have no idea what I'm doing. You're helping your friends, are you not? Yes, but it... Then you the more and more we progress through this, the more and more I'm out of my element. This requires intelligence, magic, and all sorts of shit that I don't know. No, you don't. Do I know anything about the nature of the gods about what your sister can do I still have to be a father If anything, what you're doing will be both more difficult and less difficult. I want to believe that it'll be less difficult than parenthood. If it's less difficult than parenthood, then you'll find yourself cruising through when you become a mother. Mm, she just shakes her head no. <laughs> mm. I didn't think so. He kisses the top of your head. Uh, am I gonna tell mom? I'll handle that. Mostly because. Good, thanks! One she stand. Of... There's no argument there. <laughs> did, you, did you say you should stand up? She said, good, thanks. Uh, she yeah. starts to stand up, but it's just like. <laughs> mm -hmm. Maybe I should stop before he yanks me down. No, he doesn't. He's not going to. Like, he has a very loose, like, hug on you, but when you start standing up, he loosens it for you to be able to move as you wish. She is a monster with that quarter staff. I am not. No, thank you for taking that blow. He kind of like stares down at you. That's She's what scary. you're scared of. She's scary. Oh, right. I've told you my stories. I haven't told you any of your mother's stories. We're not going to go into that. What? I, no, I, no, I want to know. Maybe some <laughs> other time. Ah. Uh. <laughs> She'll offer her hand to stand up because she needs distraction now. For now, I just want to be home, relax, potentially not have Tara figure out that I'm home and try and brew something horrible, or try and give me one of her pro one of her brews. I want to be home. What the? What was that noise? <laughs> He's just here to go, eh. <laughs> as soon as she finds out you're here, there's a good chance that, you know, you know. <laughs> I'm, I'm sure she won't put you into an arm bar again. Maybe. You're a liar. Oh, no, I'm not lying. Or I just said that, you know, maybe. I'm going to. I'm going to enjoy my non brews the rest of the night. Let's go get some. Go get some rest then. Go 
enjoy your actual ability to sleep with feeling that you have at the very least some control of where your body placement will be for now. Still so hugging tightly. She hugs you back. He hugs you back. She. He. <laughs> the the twist. <laughs> your dad's your mom. <laughs> no, that that would be too great of a twist. You know what? Good for them. Yeah, good for them. <laughs> Thing. Of course. No, go get some rest or grab another. I think that there's going to be someone trying to uh, use some of that sugar for something that we've traded recently. Have you ever had things made of sugar? Yes, you have. Of course. What am I saying? We've traded before. Uh, they're they're going to be making a new recipe though. Something called a a cookie. She spins on her heels. Where the fuck's the sugar? He points into the camp. Immediately walks towards where the fuck is cooking. <laughs> yeah. So you're taken care of. <laughs> 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 she has a hunger. And that's being it's one of those things where it's like you're full and then someone offers you a cinnamon roll. Do you say no? Do you really say Suddenly no? my stomach is starving. <laughs> <laughs> Suddenly my stomach has room. <laughs> Suddenly I am hungry again. Hmm. Funny I hunger. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Pharos, is there anything you want to do during the evening? Not really. Okay. Uh, in which case, we can move on to the next day unless there's something anyone else wanted to do as well besides get well, cookies. What was that girl trying to talk to me about? Uh, give me an idea of me something real quick. You can. Uh, okay. At least she's just asking you questions, just about uh, your god and about like your purpose here and such as that. Essentially, just trying to be like, okay, I want to understand what all's going on here because you know you're you're new, you're interesting. I mean, you talk to me. You can sit down. <laughs> Pat's the seat next. We're just she's <laughs> she's coming across out of character she's coming across a little bit more like you know someone who's like clearly she's interested but in character she is being very polite she's being very hey. <laughs> out of character uh, sorry in character she's being very polite she's being you know she's taking her time with things she's not really pushing anything she's just asking you know questions to know more about you at the moment she Azo wants to understand this and Either would have seen this and totally left him alone. <laughs> <laughs> uh, a Azar nods to himself. I can see what's happening. Ellie pops up in the background with cookies. What? <laughs> and they don't have a clue. <laughs> <laughs> He's gonna let him uh, do that. I just imagine that, like, comedic time and A's are going, oh! Fucking Ellie walks by with a fucking cookie in her mouth. What? <laughs> oh! <laughs> Basically. Delicious cookies. I have a plate of this shit. Can't stop me. He's always had cookies before, right? Uh, <laughs> it's been a while. Seeing them is like, oh, oh my fucking plate! <laughs> oh, he getting some cookies. Uh, in <sighs> because you didn't specify, I have to make sure. <laughs> what? It's the one I just it's the one that I just pinned. Oh, you just yeah, I mean, I I had it up there a, a while ago. Oh, but it, yeah. that one. Have you even seen I, one, one of those yet? I don't think I've shown you one of those yet. I should be concerned. I'm not. Uh, <laughs> I think I haven't seen one, but I can roll to see if I know about it. If you would like. I'll say roll with disadvantage, just because okay. you haven't actually What am I rolling? This, this would be... I'll say a nature check. My leg is cramping. Ah! Okay. No. That's an eight. <laughs> right, you, you, you've heard 
details, then but I not guess enough to know, not. Yeah, you not enough to know how to make sure that you're familiar. Oh with no, actually. wait. Yeah. I would have because I inquired about it when I was getting stuff to try and get a familiar. And the guy did talk about them. I'm not sure if you would be willing to count that as having heard of them, at least, but... Heard of them, I'll say. Okay. Can I go research about them at some point, then? At some point, you can research about them, yes. All right. Oh, wait, I realize... I'm gonna yes. walk up to Alasha, actually. Alasha! Hmm? I'll put the plate in front of her. What yes, it's it? bribery. Take one. It's cookies. It? <laughs> They're cookies. You know what a cookie is, actually. Hey, girl, you know what a cookie is? You're from the city. I would imagine that, like, between your age and the city yeah, dwelling... Yeah, you're older and you're from the city. You'd have seen uh, cookies being sold, uh, usually on um, weekends, when uh, a baker oh, wants weekend. to... <laughs> well, they, they do it mostly on the weekends, because that's after people have just gotten paid, so they're more willing to spend money. Hmm, <laughs> hmm. They know what they're doing. What kind of cookie? Uh, these ones are basically sugar cookies. You got no chocolate up in this bitch. Not in the chip form. It's more of chocolate chunks. I will eat the cookie. What do you know about a snake witch? I chew thoughtfully. Guru, what do I know? I'm gonna check. <laughs> you know, I wish I could have Azar just roll up into this conversation, but he 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 literally. I honestly, with everyone I else. honestly assumed he just fucking <laughs> followed her since he saw sugar and like, where was it? He's probably um, got a mouthful of it over there, but he's still having fun dicking around with such. whoever. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He, he hears about sugar go like is leading the children to the bakers who are looking at it just like back back beasts. <laughs> They're all going to get sugar. No I'm child will be sleeping. I've well started tonight. a mob. To be fair, the children were going to be moving over there anyways. <laughs> um, it's not ringing the most, but like there's. It, and initially you're thinking like heck but no that's not right it it eh, might be something you can look into later hmm mm, no really <laughs> <laughs> a little bit but um really here so swallow Perhaps now. I can research, but I don't know very much about them, no. Damn. I know they're dangerous, and you should look at them, but beyond that, not much. So cut off the head, got it! Well, that's a good way of dealing with many things. <laughs> just snake hair witch. Snake it. wait, read that last sentence. I got distracted by- I heard Dawn going, but I'm but I'm Snake and like, hair <laughs> yeah, sorry. Snake hair. <laughs> yeah, oh well. I knew Dad can beat one off a cliff. I'm probably good too, just with a lot more effort. There's a lot of horror stories you tell me. I'm gonna have to look through a lot of my memories to see if you know any of them. Well, I mean, if you'd like, you're the information collector person. I'd be happy to help. But a shorter term for you. She looks down at her five-foot-nothing self and looks up to her, squints. Are you Not implying something? I'm bigger than everyone. If I was implying that, it'd be a waste of time. Is she bigger than Azar? No. <laughs> <laughs> Is She's the same boy. height as Pharos, too. Oh, yeah. And Pharos is tall, lanky boy. Tall, lanky. Swimmer's body. Swimmer's body, yeah. <laughs> He's not, you know, without, thing. you know, the beef. Just not as much. You got the lean steak, and then you got the, the 18 ounce. 
<laughs> and then fucking Azar over here breaking shit with 24 outs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, thick boy. <laughs> Uh, if you want, Paris, I'll allow you to roll a d100 to see if you can bring up uh, a memory of something that your father has uh, mentioned to you before. Woo! I'll try and I'll, I'll detect thoughts and try and help. <laughs> Azar is gonna ping real quick. No. <laughs> I'm sorry. Hang on, I, got, I actually got to go mad. You. <laughs> mad with the swimmer's body. Damn right. <laughs> oh yeah. I don't know if really low or high is good. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, I'm gonna detect thoughts real quick. <laughs> okay. 11, 11. Damn, good thing we're going to sleep soon. <laughs> <laughs> Putting in a second level spell just because we want to learn how to sneak here, which is. <laughs> uh, oh my god! She said she was thinking about other things too, so. Yeah, I know. About oh hell, I'm about to get to my peak <laughs> Paris backstory by accident. What? Possibly. That would be oh, nice. Nice you. Get out my brain. No, oh, it's too late. You asked for this. <laughs> 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 Ain't no take backs. <laughs> <laughs> no take backs. So her mind is like going. Th she like snake-haired witches is what she's trying mm -hmm. to think on, and it's like it's. Like you, you know, the image of you know the snake-haired witch kind of is you know in the head for a moment. And then she starts like thinking about the other horror stories, and there's just this mental image you get of just destructive elements like fire, lightning, just crackling around a shadowy figure with a a face that seems to be like opening into a maw of the abyss, black shadows rising up behind them as they raise the elements to the air, and you're just like, what the hell is that? <laughs> that's not how to take that, That's I'm not aware. how that spell works. I'm aware. I'm, I'm essentially allowing it as though he's delving into her mind, because she's like, allowing him to Yeah, I was that. Say, like, that's why I was staying yeah. against it. it no, I'm just saying, it's because no, it's because thoughts, but... Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm aware. It's the ment I'm essentially describing what her mental thought process is bringing up the imagery of in her own mind. I'm speeding up the process without putting in so many words. Does that make Fair. sense? Mm -hmm. I'm fine with this. Because <laughs> yeah. otherwise it would be a lot more words. <laughs> so, you, uh, And you said like a shadowy figure doing what? A shadowy w figure with fire and lightning being raised towards the sky and like just black shadows rising from behind them as they seem to almost be screaming out something. And then shortly thereafter, you just like you get basically the cartoon, the, it's like this dark nightmare thing. And this the cartoonish uh, imagery of this. And then dad kicked his butt, just the idea of him just running over, just like stomping on it, just do, 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 shaking his fist, like, then go and stick. <laughs> The cartoon fucking shit you see in anime, yeah. but it's childish characters of memory. It's just like crayon drawings. Yes, <laughs> it's like dark, dark fire, lightning, all this stuff. Bring and then it's just like you just see this. Doo, 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 doo. Pop, 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 pop. It's Here dead on. on. Here's proof that she's both imaginative and dumb as shit. <laughs> hey. I, I'm given a lot of you know credit, but I'm also making sure that it's like yeah, you know she she, she has her moments. was a good roll. I'm glad you got 11. <laughs> <laughs> so, I don't know if you can see <laughs> How would I not Because I don't know how to? detect thoughts works. I don't it know doesn't make me black out. Let's no. put it that way. Yeah, yeah that's the thing. She's, I, I she's absolutely conscious. Cool. So you can see Elash's face is just like, okay, okay, this is about what I expected. Okay, mother. <laughs> snakes on the head uh -huh. and then it's like someone changed the channel <laughs> but without the remote <laughs> so alasha's face just s like her head quirks to the side like and huh? she kind of like 
scrunches up her nose and squints like, wait, what? What? <laughs> what the what? fuck? Who turned on the Spanish channel? <laughs> and it stays like that for a good, like, ten seconds. Now she's just kind of like... Like, like the <laughs> stupid meme of that dude with the question marks around his head, like, what? Oh, oh yeah! that guy, yeah. <laughs> and then she gets even more confused, but... <laughs> What, you don't Slowly know. she nods, like, yeah, that sounds about right. <laughs> <laughs> don't think of the brain of someone who can't keep a single thought on track <laughs> for more than, like, 50 seconds at a time. That's why I had you roll the D100. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. This took 11 seconds. <laughs> Get this info. I. Mm. What is your Arcana modifier? Uh, mm -hmm. I was about to say, I'm like me. Your Arcana modifier, yeah. It's pretty good. It's a plus seven. Okay. Um, you're not able to piece together what this is based off of her mind alone. <laughs> You you would, you would need more details than this. This this just with I need her to focus. <laughs> focus, damn I, it! I just imagine she just like grabs Ellie's cheeks and kind of shakes her. Focus. <laughs> I wonder if that would actually work. Mm. Possibly. Try it. Shake me like I'm a fucking old TV. I have to. Yeah, you do. I have to explain what I just saw, and I have to try and formulate a <laughs> sentence to explain what I just saw. I'd apologize for being cryptic, but no, I don't wanna. <laughs> Ellie, what the fuck? <laughs> Perfect. What? Well, first you were thinking about the strange snake-haired witch, and that seems normal. And then all of a sudden you started thinking about this shadowy figure surrounded by fire and lightning and rising up into the sky and shadows. And then your father came in from off screen and beat the <laughs> crap out of him. <laughs> she kind of very gently cuffs the lashes. Welcome to the world of Ellie. I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> my brain, I'm sorry. <laughs> oh dear. I told you I can't keep my thoughts straight for 15 seconds. Okay, but go back. <laughs> go back to that last one. I, I, I'd like I, to know a little bit more about that. I can try! Start thinking about the snake hair witch again, see if it works. Okay! <laughs> Let's I mean, do this. it's concentration, so I'm gonna try again. <laughs> Oh I'll try and focus more on what he's talking about, but since that was deep in the recesses of my blocked mind, <laughs> I'm not quite sure how well that'll go. Roll an intelligence check. <laughs> Is rolling bad good in this case? Oh, rolling no. good bad. No, roll, roll, well, rolling good means that she's able to, you know, piece together the memory and actually pull it up, and she got an 18 GM rolling it, so... <laughs> nice. I actually GM rolled. I almost at 20. Yeah, she got nice. a pretty good roll. And she's able to think, she thinks about the snake lady, it's, you know, thought, thinking it through, thinking it through, and then all of a sudden just, like, slowly bringing it back up. And you're able to get, you know, see, he, you know, it's, again, it's reading these thoughts and being like, it's it's the same kind of verbiage and such that where you're trying to, she's trying to recreate the story that she remembers from her father telling, which is why you're getting the imagery you are. And then, again, from off screen, just... Dun, 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 dun. Quack, 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 quack. Hey, stay on. <laughs> Fuck you, rewinding. She's <laughs> gonna start shaking my fucking head like a, like a fucking bottle. <laughs> yeah. Tell me your secrets. 
am I supposed to work in these conditions? <laughs> it's a case of this, the best part is, is it's not in part of it's not even her attention span. You're just in the deep recesses of her mind where she can't control it. <laughs> she doesn't I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure she doesn't even know what you're talking about when it comes down to the storm and lightning and shit. <laughs> Actually with an eighteen uh, you think you know the story? Oh, then I'd focus on that rather than snake bit. Mm -hmm. That's what the intelligence check was for. Which again, you, yeah, you, you got an idea. Um, that idea being, uh, it's probably from the time that he, you know, had to fight this big old creature on the mountainside, and well, the, whenever he knocked the creature off the mountain, it would just fly back up. <laughs> so he just was like, okay, fine. He just he he beat it until it, you know, disintegrated. Do I remember him ever telling me the name or even, like, a slight name of what the hell it is? Um, he... He rolled pretty high. Um... He was not allowed to use the language he wanted to use, partly because... Mm -hmm. You were a your child. Mo <laughs> your mother was nearby. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you dare. <laughs> I like how uh, Mad's like, you're a child, and I'm like, I mean, to be fair... He would swear with his child if his wife allowed him, but his wife does not allow him. Correct. <laughs> that just reminded me of what's worse than a rapist. Boom. <laughs> a child. <laughs> no! no. <laughs> this family uh, has a few people in it who might accidentally make that connection. So, <laughs> I'm just gonna just move on from that. Farris is very uncomfortable around the screaming people. It's like, it, it's like he was used to uh, his orc, but now there's people, but now everyone here has that personality type. So it's like, <laughs> it's too much. Poor Farris. Ironically enough, Sarah is actually one of the calm ones, so he's probably being like, can, I just, can you just, can I just be with you where it's quiet, please? Oh my so goodness. So how do you spell that name here? Hmm? How do you, the, the thing that he wanted to call, that he, yeah. did, that he ended up calling it. Um, the, he, there was a time when you, when Paris, you would have heard him say it, uh, the, the name he wanted to call it, which was a flying dumbass bitch, get your ass down here, you son of a gun, I'm going to send you back down to the hells where you belong. Yeah, I can see my mom wouldn't approve. <laughs> Um, the actually I need to roll one other thing. Oh, yeah, she still rolled good. Um, the the name now that you actually remember it, it does stick out to you now, because now that you've actually had it brought up, you're like, oh wait, yeah, no, mom, mom corrected him like three times because he kept <laughs> saying the he kept trying to call it the you know his name for it, and she kept leaning back in and saying, Baylor. What the? What the? F oh. Roll an arcana something. check. Mad, you can roll an arcana check. I will. Indeed. Roll an arcana check. <laughs> I like how you're saying that really slow. <laughs> Let's see. Holy fucking shit! Oh, that's a 20 guru. Ooh, that's a, that's a nice 20. Watch the right DCB 25, because it's a demon. Probably. Nope. Demon. Very. Very mean, very powerful, and also one that is generally considered to be one that, uh, how do I put this? Uh, a leader among demon kind. <laughs> Jesus! One who usually has, uh, minions beneath them. And I mean, is I known for wielding a whip of fire and a sword of lightning. I guess he ain't chief for nothing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> mm. And part and part of this, Paris, you're you're remembering that he was extremely casual while bringing this up. Just like, yeah, it happened. <laughs> just, I just I just like this. met him on the mountainside. He was being a he was screaming something at me. I didn't understand what he was talking about. And then he started trying to fly away. And I'm like, just get your ass back down here so I can fight you, dumbass bitch. Fight me. <laughs> Once he finally did, I kicked his ass. 
and shoved him off the mountainside, but he just fly back up to fight me. I'm like, yeah, man. Yeah. Come here. Dude. We now see that it is hereditary. I, at no point did anyone say it was otherwise, Paris. <laughs> I was hoping. <laughs> you were hoping it was? I was hoping it, I was both hoping it was and, and kind of hoping it wasn't. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, you get it from your dad. Clearly. That's great. <laughs> I'm looking terrifying. Yes, Matt. So, Elisha has a whole lot more respect for the chief, first of all. <laughs> And second of all, looks to Ellie and says, I hope one day I can see when you achieve that level of ferocity. What? She has the dopiest fucking smile of like, just, I don't understand what you're talking about. So... <laughs> I saw your memory of when your father told you the story of the strange flying creature with fire and lightning. Very, very frightening. He called it a multitude of expletives. That sounds about right. But your mother corrected him. And called it a Baylor. Same dopey, oblivious smile. <laughs> Imagine if you will. And I gotta double check this for a second because I don't wanna. Can you not rub your butt on me? That's not oh. me. Taru, shut up. <laughs> uh -huh. Fucking dog just did it for no reason uh -huh. other than she could. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Imagine, if you will, a 12-foot-tall, muscular, red, humanoid creature. Um, Matt. Yeah? 20-foot-tall. Okay, <laughs> that's interesting, it, it, because where huge. I'm looking, it says that they're huge. Yes, so that'd be closer to like 18 to given. 20. No, it's different because I didn't see the huge until I glanced to the right. Yeah, no, they, they, they are they are huge. I was like, that seems kind of small, but all right. Yeah, yeah. twelve no, that's, is that's large. Why, that's why I just you know gently correcting you, letting you know that, that <laughs> they're they're huge creatures. I consider them at least around twenty feet myself. Yeah, that sounds about right. There you go. So redact that and say twenty. With bat-like wings. Which explains how your father continually knocked it off the cliff and it returned to fight him. <laughs> that wield both whips of fire and swords of lightning simultaneously. Grin is widening. <laughs> your father fought one of these single-handedly. Hmm. Very well. Very well. I love how it shocks She's like, what the fuck? What the fuck? Okay. Out of character, this is the kind of thing that could pick her up and eat her. Any of us! Out of character, I've run Mostly the numbers. Me. And it is totally possible. Obviously, for it is possible, but for someone to... A level to, 20 uh, juggernaut barbarian to... Not even level 20. Ooh, Ooh! Not even level 20. Impressive. Who the fuck is this man? <laughs> A legend. <laughs> A myth. <laughs> oh my god. So I've run the numbers with a... Uh, a different character as well, but you know, you, you gotta have, you know, mm -hmm. 
you got to have different <laughs> ideas and such to see how they'll fare against similar enemies, just in case. Although, to be fair, the other person was fighting a pit fiend, so... Yeah, they're, they're similar enough. Just one CR difference. It takes her a second. And she stands there for a bit, same fucking grin on her face. Before she does, quite frankly, the fastest heel turn you have ever seen her do, which is saying something considering how often she does it. Dead! <laughs> she fucking runs off. <laughs> I like how we didn't even get the information we were looking for. I <laughs> The rest of it's irrelevant now. Right. <laughs> like, you know the sound effect when a bullet pings off a metal surface? <laughs> yeah, it's like that's that's the gist of this conversation. <laughs> we tried figuring out what the heck this snake haired witch was, and we immediately hung a ninety degree turn right into Albuquerque. <laughs> Mentally, just mental thoughts like, oh, hold on, what was that? <laughs> Wait, go back, rewind! I can't! <laughs> well, we were focusing on this, but now I'm curious about this. What the hell? <laughs> what is this story you were told? I mean, well... when, you hear, like, when you hear Snake Lady and then, like, thoughts come up with, like, fire, lightning, flying, demonic creature, you kind of hang on to that first. <laughs> I don't know that. Just a wee bit. So your test subject is run off. <laughs> but I was probably going to get out of you anyway. <laughs> the fact that I was able to hyper focus on its volume. Because <laughs> okay. that was probably hard for her. <laughs> no, very. Yep, uh, you run off to find your dad and you, know, the, you try and pester him throughout the night and it's... You know the Spongebob meme where he he's like trying to live as a jellyfish and he runs away from Patrick and he's just leaning against the wall like Whoosh. that's a loss right now but <laughs> it's like man this this is not what I was expecting he needs to take a minute mm -hmm. yeah a little bit, a little bit. <laughs> understandable I mean, is there anything else you wish to do this evening I mean that's it that's all I got I gotta be um yeah, I, I think that's all. Azar would just be telling stories and partying and shit as late as he possibly could. Okay. Uh, the kids obviously will not be able to stay up forever, obviously. Mm -hmm. but oh, yeah. Uh, there are some men who will be like, yeah, yeah, they'll stay up with you till around midnight-ish. Basically, they're, uh, they kind of drag you in as part of the first watch. Oh. And the first watch, rather than being like, oh, we gotta be go, keeping our eyes out when I... It's essentially uh, several. Some people are like actually keeping watch, and everyone else is like, "All right, now you you you, you, you gotta put your fist low, chin high, and then punch him right in the jaw." <laughs> yeah, he is totally gonna be doing this. Does exactly what they tell him to. <laughs> Farz is asleep by ten o'clock. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Everyone else going to sleep at a reasonable hour. As soon as Ellie actually like gets you know wound up and eventually winds down, she's gonna pass out herself. <laughs> uh, but Alasha trances and she's able to you know continue watching all of the shenanigans. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So they're just punching the crap out of each other. <laughs> all right, all right. Like you stand here, you put your. Uh, it's it's essentially. Um, I don't. I don't know how else to say it, but have you seen Yu Yu Hakusho? Are they playing yeah. the fucking knife game? <gasps> Was it the knife game? The knife game. Oh, oh. my god. <laughs> cool, yes. so... Good to know, good to know. They have the I knives around, and they're just they're just beating the shit out of each other in a knife circle. Yeah, um, I know he said that he doesn't fight anymore. But he's gonna do this. <laughs> he's like, oh no, this isn't fighting. This is just having a good time sparring. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's so doing that. Oh my god. <laughs> it brings back so many, you know, just warm and fuzzy feelings. <laughs> How could you not want to do this? This is great. Thank you for this. Of course. <laughs> uh, Pharos is asleep. Alasha gets to watch this just like. Hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and eventually.
essentially is, she's uh, judging like the amount of force that they're putting into each punch and how it could be better applied <laughs> um roll an intelligence check do you ever tell azar any of these hints oh hell yeah look at that 21 <laughs> when they mention most of their like suggestions part of your mind at, at first is just like oh, that that's going to be wasting and then you actually see it in action you realize these people know fighting mm -hmm. they don't seem to be like the most you know book knowledge i mean clearly ellie's father was i mean he he caught on to stuff he was you know smart and wise as a leader but you know he clearly didn't know everything mm -hmm. he had his own way of figuring things out that was different than what you were expecting but mm -hmm. fighting when they're giving these hints and such you watch one of them like pull off a punch and you're just like you're pretty sure that if he had done it maybe like fractions of an inch off it might have been better but they're, they're good mm -hmm. um, some of the people are having a knife circle fight with Azar and they're being like, okay, no, you gotta keep yourself... Knife circle fight? Yeah. You know yeah. you hawk a show with the knife game? Remember? Mm. Hang on. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Yeah, He's with, so um, what's-his-face? Yeah. Yeah. Like, not Australian, dude. <laughs> oh! Oh! The guy who fucking spins the fucking... I see. I see. I think I'm remembering now. I believe it was... Wasn't it Jesse? Jesse sounds right. It says his name is Chu. Oh, Chu! Chu. There we go. There, there it was. I was I was trying to remember. Like it's either Jesse or Chu. Nice. Yes. I knew it was some kind of funny name. Yes. Oh. I... Anyway. Oh yeah, this dude. Oh, I see it. Okay, I see it. Oh yeah, he's right there. Wait, I'm wondering if this would catch my attention. Fuck, you're you're getting asleep. you're getting you're lethargic and wanting to pass out. out. Yeah, yeah. You, you I... ate enough that you're just like ha, is... done in by your own appetite. Yeah. I feel insulted. I feel insulted, especially since he's been eating the same amount I have. Do we... no. no, he's not. I love how she said that. He's been eating a bunch, but not as much as her. He's been partying more. <laughs> Yeah, he's Fair more enough. partying. <laughs> like, he's the same size as her. What, do you have to put away the same food? Actually, yeah. He's been telling stories and singing and shit. He's been too. Uncle Azar. Yeah. He's having fun with this, though. I'm gonna fall asleep watching. <laughs> this is my bedtime. <laughs> this is my bedtime story. He, he is totally going to be uh, remembering these pointers. Even though he doesn't fight anymore. He doesn't fight anymore. <laughs> Not anymore. I definitely let him in on it. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Azar uh, will definitely pay attention to everything you're saying, too. I'm fucking crying. He's gonna. He's having fun. He's having fun. He's trying his hardest to, like, kick their asses, too. Because, you know, that's just insulting if you don't. Right, I was about to say. <laughs> like, you would actually hurt their feelings more, like, not trying than if you actually beat them. Pretty much. Definitely would be interesting to uh be taught these new tricks. Oh yes. <laughs> uh, some of it is also stuff like uh, here. If you do this and you pull them like this, and then you lift, and you just basically get lifted off the ground by just your arm. <gasps> oh my god, he's gonna and be like, so stoked! And he just basically flips you over. <laughs> onto your back. <laughs> he's be... Oh, he is like <laughs> laughing loud, louder than. At this time of night, uh, <laughs> um, that's probably something he doesn't get to experience often. Yeah, no, the, these these guys know what they're doing, and they're clearly having a blast just throwing down with you. Oh yeah, I'm very pleased. Yeah, and uh, whenever it does become sleep time, he he's probably gonna pass the fuck right out. out. Oh yes, uh, yeah, <laughs> party hard, sleep hard. <laughs> oh yes, after after all that fighting stuff, you're just like. Yeah, I'm sore. I'm feeling great. <laughs> just lays down and just. I'm just gonna lose gonna be a couple. Yeah, I was gonna say I'm. I'm pretty sure he's probably a loud snore. He's a snoring type.
probably passed out wherever out, the fuck. Out yeah. Fucking cold. Yeah, he's out. And, uh, that's it for Azar. He ain't yeah. doing anything else. <laughs> I'm dead, bitch. Leave me alone. <laughs> he gone. Yeah. Morning eventually will come upon you. Fars will wake up before the rooster. Mm -hmm. Before the rooster! Yep. And now just imagine there's just a lone rooster just wandering around. There's not even chickens, it's just a rooster. It's rooster would still be asleep. The rooster is asleep right now. Snoozing. It's snoozles. Oh god, I realize how's the owlbear not eight? Well, it's family. Uh, the, it's as just the, the rooster from uh, what was that one movie where the penguin was? Oh, you're talking about uh, Surf's Sur Up. Surf's Up. Is yeah. it Surf's Up? Oh my god! Yeah, dude, I finally found you. Honestly, I, now Guru fits that character so well. I don't know. Why. <laughs> I fit that character. Me? Yes, you. Fair enough. I don't know about this one. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair. I'd be the sort of person to be in a competition like, look, I'm just here to surf and have fun. And then at the end of it, it's just like, how does it feel to have won? I won? I won? <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh, so you go out, you meditate, and you, when you finish off your meditating, you kind of brush yourself off. Dawn begins to break in the distance, and you're kind of waiting for that, you know, that rooster crow to, you know, wake everyone else up. You hear a <laughs> slowly kind of just turn around. You just see the owlbear just sitting behind you, just staring at the mountains where the dawn is, just Wait, I see this? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, do I see this? Yes. You, uh, you, fucking when, notes. As you heard the As you heard the first one, the first one you looked over you're like, <gasps> the owlbear is the rooster here. <laughs> Oh dear. I love this. I, I started taking notes on the owlbear because I never got a chance to take an owlbear notes the first time we saw one. I was like, oh, I ain't fucking missing this opportunity. <laughs> yeah. Owlbear's crow. Kind of. <laughs> My goodness. I love this. I don't know if it. I don't think that's going to be enough to wake me up. No. I mean, <laughs> it doesn't I mean, have to be. So it probably fucking is for me. It's like, what? Oh. oh. Oh, okay, it's Bubba. <laughs> I'm passed out. Yeah, you, 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 you got knocked in the face a few times, and now you're just like, I'm just gonna. I mean, gonna... bright side, you can't possibly have a black eye because your skin's underneath your scales. She's not technically wrong. <laughs> the logistics help. <laughs> He probably drank too. I'm sure they drank too. Probably not a whole ton. <laughs> not a whole <laughs> ton. They 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 were on watch. But like when you're like, man, I need to head to bed. They put a, a mug in your your hand, just like for luck. You're, <laughs> you're sleeping. <laughs> oh my god. You down it and you're just. <laughs> yep, <Yeah>, out. <laughs> they put something else in there, didn't they? No, it was just alcohol. I was about to say, I'm like, did they give him, like, fucking melatonin or some shit? God. Yeah, I'm going... She wants some more. Some more sleep aid? No, wine! Okay, I... Okay, that's why I was... I just, I just I mentioned, like... I we mentioned sleep aid! <laughs> I mentioned sleep aid, and I just hear you mutter. I need to ask Savannah if she wants more. <laughs> I'm sitting there like, what? Wait! <laughs> I just, I always get sleepy when I drink wine, so I started thinking about wine. <laughs> <laughs> they say a glass is good for you before bed, so. Yeah, I, I down. Uh, anyway. <laughs> it was very hard to stay up. <laughs> I would you crawl out of my tent? Because fucking. I'm tired to walk. <laughs> I will slowly walk up to Bubba. And I will flop on his face so he stops making that fucking noise. <laughs> if, uh, I mean, you're not really going to be able to flop on his face since he's sitting down and 
you know, basically at eye level with you at that point. I'll stand up to do this. You're going to basically crawl onto his back? Essentially! <laughs> Just, like, flop on the face and slowly drag myself off the back. Baba, please. Stares you right in the eyes. Mm. Again. Yeah! <laughs> it's probably got some really nice reverberation, too, because you oh, got yeah. a deep chest cavity. Oh, probably. yeah. More more so than me. Far more than me. <laughs> Would you like me to give it a try? <laughs> Go for the it! The noise of the owlbear from that! Do it, do it, do it, do it, do it! Sure. <laughs> 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 it's great. <laughs> I love this. It just stays on Bubba's back since he's not stopping. Fuck it. Um. He doesn't stop for a little, and then you see just a guy st walk out of the tent, and like Bubba, like perks up when you know people start coming out when no one you know acknowledges his presence. He just this is <laughs> literally just my cat at five <laughs> on something. Yeah, eventually one person just like shut up, Bubba, and you just see something thrown at him, and he just kind of smacks off their face, and they lean out, just pick it up, fucking food, <laughs> and then they just lay down. Is this a case of he, like, it hit him, or is this a case of his reflexes were so fucking slow that it hit him, and then he was like, oh. <laughs> Essentially. <laughs> oh, poor thing. <laughs> Eventually she'll move. <laughs> For right now, he's very soft. <laughs> he's very slow. And, like, to be fair... Gets right up and just walks around with you on his back as though you're oh. not even there. Carriage service. Yay. <laughs> oh, alright, I'll get off you soon, big guy. But will she? Just. Just not yet. <laughs> just, just. Just five more. <laughs> And out he goes. She's gonna fall off him. That that's what that's, that's how she's gonna wake certainly. up. She's gonna fall off him. Almost certainly, yeah. It's gonna like it's gonna be a case of like can't remember what cart shoot it is. But like someone hops up on a fucking horse and just goes, Mush! and the fucking horse just sits down and they just slide off. Can't remember what fucking cartoon it is though. I don't Me either, but it sounds funny. Yeah, it sounds familiar! <laughs> so once he sits out again, I'm away. Which I'm sure will be soon, because people will be cooking breakfast! This sounds really good, right? Uh, awesome uh, uh, lots of eggs yes. and uh, some buffalo jerky. Some buffalo wild wings. <laughs> <laughs> Nice. <laughs> oh. uh, as expected, Azar is very late. He's gonna probably show up late breakfast time. <laughs> uh, brunch time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but he will still happily eat. Yep, it's lots of good food, and it's just. As soon as, like, you're probably, like, dragging yourself out of the bed half asleep, and you're just like... <laughs> Food. Food. <laughs> <laughs> Food. <laughs> Food. I mean, I don't know if Bruce is be showing, but he probably looks like he got in a fight a little, right? <laughs> what the hell happened to you? Last night was good. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent <Yes>. answer. <laughs> He is better than he was before this. <laughs> he nods and he's like, she was there. <laughs> she just like pokes at one of the places that she's almost certain he has a bruise. 
Uh. Probably his cheek or his neck. He got punched. I don't know if he would react fight. much, to be honest. He's yeah, it's your skin. fucking scale. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what did she say? She said, you got punched. You were in the knife fight, weren't you? <laughs> he, he's grinning and he nods. Like, There's more than just punching. <laughs> one, one, one of the guys from last night, yeah, there was kicking too. <laughs> he sounds like his pride has been wounded. <laughs> It wasn't laughing. the only thing. <laughs> <laughs> they were they were having a good old time. I'm glad you are enjoying Gay my hole. <laughs> <laughs> what what did you say, Paris? She said, I am glad that you are enjoying my home and she will roll off of Bubba because she cannot bring herself to sit up. <laughs> yeah, he laughs and he's like, Yeah, it reminds me a lot of mine. Oh, but and, uh, he, his expression looks a little weird for a second, but it, he, he kind of snaps out of it. <laughs> he seems. Oh to be my right god! Enough. <laughs> Did he really think that wasn't gonna happen? <laughs> yeah, I guess he seems all right. I mean, who knows? He got knocked around last night. <laughs> yeah, that that hasn't stopped his mental function before. So. <laughs> See you real quick. <laughs> Watch this bitch in that 20. Nope. Okay. <laughs> oh my goodness. The same. Yeah, that's what you guys get. <laughs> that's it. <laughs> she will stand up. I could, but I'm not gonna. That's fine. Right. Forest allows people to have secrets. <laughs> we'll stand up. Elisha's whole thing is about knowing, so. Right. <laughs> Ellie will hug him. What? Why? She will pick him up at a hug. You. And she will proceed to walk towards food. Fight. Oh, there we go. <laughs> yeah, he's a little confused at first, but uh, food is introduced, so he gets completely <laughs> sidetracked. <laughs> food takes priority. True. And he'll just eat. Mm -hmm. He don't. He don't question anything. She's dumb, but I feel like she could piece a bit of it together, considering that dude has been away for a year, so she would have the homesickest restaurant. Yeah. And she I thinks that he's homesick, so... <laughs> mm -hmm. The only way she knows how to cheer him up is to eat! <laughs> Food. Man, that's... <laughs> that's, pretty much... that's how to cheer me up! <laughs> right, that's not so like, it's how you cheer me up, cook me something, I'm fine. <laughs> uh, anyway... As this is going on, uh, I imagine for us is one of the higher per passive perceptions. Mad's higher than me. And I know that you have one of the higher ones. I know Mad has the highest. Uh, what is everyone's passive? Just sixteen. I think I have. And it's only because hey, thirteen. Yeah, for us, I, I have, have the same passive. Yeah, <laughs> like for us, isn't that perceptive? He's insightful, not perceptive. Yeah. I only got 14. 14, okay. So you all notice this. It's... Say that he forgot how to say it, but I'm scared he muted himself. No, no, I'm no, over here like, it's okay, me, thinking, me with it's... bated breath, what is it? <laughs> <laughs> don't, don't rush me. Big, I, I'm, big I'm, anticipate. Don't worry. Yeah, if, I, exactly. if, I'm, if I'm gone for more than a minute, you know, I'll be like, hey, are you okay? <laughs> you guys are, you know, you're getting breakfast and you're, you're sitting down. And there, it's like a little movement. Just just a little movement that's... At first, you guys, you know, you guys kind of just half ignore, just like, yeah, it's probably nothing. And then Alasha, your mind kind of starts thinking, that was pretty small. Maybe it was kind of lean over and you're just kind of you're still eating food just kind of like glancing mm -hmm. around just like hmm and then you see it again and you kind of just pause and just kind of stop and the uh, others kind of notice and kind of look over in the same direction and about 60 feet away from you everyone else is moving around they're all sitting down or getting up and grabbing some other stuff but there's just about 60 feet away from you just a mound of rock 
certainly was not there before. That just seems to be poking out of the ground. And then just slowly just kind of like turns. What? Is turns again. Uh, right. Not again. Not again? What is it? Is the chief anywhere nearby? He's getting breakfast somewhere else. Where? He's, he's near else. enough by. <laughs> if you wanted to yell to him, you could. Oh, sir. That's several people all look at you. <laughs> Head, sir. Dad! Hmm? Points to I rock. think we might have more of what we were discussing last night. The thing turns, seems to notice the uh, Ellie pointing at it, and it's just slowly just doo, 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 sinks into the ground. And the area where it sinks into the ground, it's like watching almost like a ground water ripple. It just sinks in, and it's just flat, smooth space as though it was never there. Okay, she'll stand up and fucking grab her sword. I Put it down. Singing. What? Put it what down. Was... What been... was that? Uh, Earth Elemental. They've been poking their heads in, just peeking around as though they're looking for something, but they keep ending up in our camp because we're noisy. At least that's my theory on it. Huh. He looks over to his wife, who's just squinting at him. <laughs> Azar is curiously touching the ground that it was at. Make an investigation check. It's so smooth. Okay. <laughs> Poke it. <laughs> it's it's very smart boy. He's so smooth like now. Investigate the ground, please. Sure. Can we just, can we just all do this? <laughs> Anyone who wants to. <laughs> it's so <laughs> fucking smooth. <laughs> Ground. What is the investigation for? They're all, they're all looking at where the um, the Earth Elemental poked Fucking its head out, and they're, they're all just, you're just hearing them all just being like, the ground is so smooth. What the I fuck? will not do that. Thars will get close to the and try to feel for vibrations. Uh, perception check. Ah! Thirteen. Thirteen. <laughs> <laughs> uh. You're like closing your eyes, like just trying. Uh, are you barefoot? Yeah. That's yeah, right, you don't that's wear right. shoes. Your, your whole thing is that you don't wear shoes. That's right. I'm like, I, I'm pretty sure you're barefoot, like Toph, but for a different reason. Well, one foot's barefoot, the, the other, other one is bandaged. That's right. The other one has bandages. Um, close your eyes and. It's it's like something is almost like dragging against the bottom of your foot with these vibrations it's an interesting feeling and they appear to be heading you open your eyes and you look around to try and gauge the direction look towards the sun look back in a, a north and western direction which, what's towards there uh, from where you're currently looking you just see tents you can't really see beyond that uh, if you're asking anyone else um, what's that way I'm going to point over there yeah. that way uh, if we're lucky no more of those fucking hill giants uh, if we're not hill giants uh, the oh the bison were out that way did you have other hunting parties out uh, we had a few during the night. Did they all come back? They come back on their own. You know, sometimes take longer than others. Usually. How fast is this thing moving? If I had a gauge? Uh, it's not... It's moving at what you would presume is probably a leisurely pace. It's like, just kind of just... Strolling, kind of. It's not like it's like running. It's just like just like a... How do I put this? It's like it's doing a, a breaststroke rather than like that very fast, you know, slap in the water front stroke. 
You know what I mean? Farce. We'll try to follow it. Okay. Where are you going? I'm following a rock. Did it, they go that way? Yep. And Farce. Yeah. Keep up. I forgot. Ah, uh, she'll run after him. You forgot what? Uh, one second. Let's see. Don't need that. Need that. I always have that and that. You're making sure about your spells? Uh huh. Yeah, no worries. I like how you were like getting ready to start singing and it's just like it just poked his head out and then went back under the ground. This is how <laughs> things start with you. Then it's like five other ones poke out of the ground. It's like <laughs> I, you got I do it. that to you? Me? No. I will actually hesitate, no, of kind of glancing around at everyone before mm -hmm. you guys. Oh, um, there was something that I wanted to do first. Oh. I probably don't have time now. Oh? <laughs> I wanted to talk with Pear, uh, Ellie's sister about spells, so I guess we'll have time. Probably would have to be later, yeah. Alright. Alright. I feel like this is a good place to end the session, just with mm -hmm. you all heading out to follow this Earth Elemental, because mm -hmm. it's you know it's not a cliffhanger, but it's like hey we're we, we're going to be going in to seeing what this Earth Elemental's up to. Just so you know, that's not what Faris is doing. I didn't say that it was what the Faris yeah. was doing. I'm just like just I'm just like you know out of character. He's just going to the edge of camp, then he's like not following. Oh, if he's just going to the edge of camp, he goes past the edge of camp. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> the Faris is good. Cool. Yeah, in he just case, didn't want yeah. to. No, yeah, yeah. yeah, no worries. And in which case, yes, uh, you would be able to speak with Ellie's sister. But we'll get to more of that stuff next week. And be able to <laughs> hopefully see more of the shenanigans and such. Thank you for clarifying that you were not leaving the camp. Because that means that yeah. we we'll, we'll, we'll be able to start it with you guys in camp. Able to do some shenanigans if you guys want to. And then being able to continue to move. And uh, out of character, just so you are aware, the direction that the elemental headed. That's where you guys are heading to, so... That's what I was wondering! Yep, yeah, yeah, you guys are heading in a north and western direction, and, well, so is the tribe, so... Mm -hmm. This is where the fun begins. But until next time, where we actually get to see where that happens, thank you all so much for watching with us, and we hope you all had a great time, and until next time, we've been with Team Cup, and we'll see you all later. Bye-bye! Bye! -bye. Bye. Bye.